In this video, we're going to be working on a Nintendo Switch that came in for two damaged Joy-Con connectors, one on the right and one on the left. And this one came in a bad timing because we are out of stock on those connectors. So what we're going to do is remove the connectors from a donor board and put them on the customer's board. Let's take a look. We see a damaged connector right here and a scratch. And we also see one all the way to the left, right here. So we need to remove those connectors. And then we're going to grab a donor board with connectors that are in perfect condition. One on the right and one on the left. It's more work for us to work with a donor board rather than have the connector. But we do not have the connector. What can you do? We have a large order coming in for those connectors. and. We've had this order since two weeks ago and nothing yet. We should get them anytime soon. Let's hit up from the bottom. We do not want to hit up from the top because we're going to end up burning the battery connector and this connector here. We do not want to do that. Right now I'm applying heat on bottom of the board. Right, so this one is out. One connector is out. Let's do the other one. And the other one is right over here. I'm applying heat from bottom of the board. And eventually the board is going to get saturated with heat and it's going to reach melting temperature. And that's when we will be able to desolder the connector. I'm trying not to burn my fingers because some heat is spilling upwards and touching my fingers. We're good. So just a tiny bit of flux. We need to fix the pads here, and we also need to fix the pads on the other side. We have a lot of Nintendo switches that we need to get to, and I'm trying to do this as fast as I can while doing a good job, of course. And that's it for this one. Now let's do the other one, the one on the right, next to the battery connector. And just like that. Now let's grab our donor board. And remove the first connector. And we're going to apply it from the bottom. You see the nozzle on the bottom? Heat is spilling. And I can feel it. So I'm trying to move my hand as far away from the nozzle as possible while still being able to grab that connector like this. And while at it, let's remove the other one. And the other connector is out. Let's grab our first connector. And we still have flux. And just like that, the connector is going to settle in place once we start applying heat. Right. 
the first one is done. And let's take a look. The board is still hot, but let's take a look at the soldering. And look at that. Better than factory. Just look at the joints. Awesome. Now let's do the other one. And I forgot the orientation of the other one, but I do have a donor board, another donor board next to me. The latch is on the bottom. Let's apply heat and finish the job. And the job is done. We tapped it, it moved back, and that tells us that the joints are making a good connection with the pads. Solder hardened, and let's take a look at this one. Awesome. All right, the job is done. I'll be back. We reassembled the switch and it's fully functional, but I wanna show it to you on camera so you can see that it's working. If you look here, left Joy-Con is working. We can also test the right one. Up, go left, go right, click. Cancel. You get the point. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.